Gods, we fight for the glory of Rome. What kind of glory is this? The Britons will never commit to peace if this is how we treat them. This must be the work of the Praetorians.
hold! <clears throat> Friends of Rome, may I present to you Basilius, the son of the Emperor. Commander Vitalian. Congratulations on your safe arrival. Had it been any later, you might have missed out on all the fun. <laughs> I do trust your journey was not too arduous. Sir, I would like to... A Praetorian to... guard will take over now. Guards, seize the Briton scum. Your Highness, I must... In case you're unaware, my brother Commodus still missing. I intend to find out what these savages have done with him. We Britons lived in peace under the rule of the old Roman chieftain. But this new chieftain, Commodus, son of your king, is evil. He deserves the fate that he is suffering. I have nothing more to say. Then it is clear to me that you Britons do not love as we Romans do. Your girl. She is beautiful. Flog her until he talks, or she dies. Whichever comes first. No! Hold her! How dare you! How dare you? I am son of the Emperor, and I do whatever I choose. Please! No! Please! Spare her! I'll tell you everything! Chieftain Commodus was traded to the Horned King in the Northern Lands. Beyond the Wall. Please, release my daughter. I beg of you. See? There's really only one language these people understand. The language of force. You will find your chieftain in darkness beyond the wall where the lowering barren mountains tower over the black, bottomless locks. Horned men from ancient times roam this land, and of those who venture there, few return. Oh, how very exciting. Commander Battalion, I have a new mission for you. You will lead your men north to the lowering mountains and bring back my brother. Guards, lock up the prisoners. Ready the men! You heard the commander! Make ready to march! Centurion. We march north. Yes, sir! Vitalian led our forces further north, beyond the borders of our empire, to the edge of the world. We fought against warriors more beast than men, so fearsome that even Rome's elite legions had failed to conquer them. Oswald's foreboding words haunted us as we marched ever deeper into the unforgiving darkness. Horned men from ancient times roam these lands, and of those who venture there, few return. This fort, Glot's Hop, it's rumored to be the gateway to Hades, a place of ire and death. I worry that what happens here on the edge of the world could soon befall the Empire itself. Engineers, soak those hides. Antonius, check the cables. Otto, secure the beams. We move out at the tent. Yes, sir. We're rescued Commodus. They build wicker men only for their most valuable sacrifices. He's sure to be there. We begin our attack at the dead of night. I don't like this. What's that? Yeah. 
It's nothing. Over there! It's just a deer! Just a deer! Something's watching us. If they want a fight, why don't they come out and fight? Come on! Be quiet! What are you so scared of? We're Romans of the 14th! Ahead. You ran into the mist! I saw it! Some kind of animal! Some kind of animal with two legs! Quiet, lads. If these beasts were able to, they would have attacked us by now. No. They have sense enough to fear Rome. Double time, lads. I'll scout ahead. Sir, did you see something? What's the problem, Marius? We need to keep moving. Rise up, son of Rome. Your empire needs you. Rise.
must find my men.
Have mercy on us.
Centurion! Centurion! Sir! Sir! God! I can see him! Centurion! They took him to the Wicker Man! God, is it good to see you! I knew the gods would take it over. Marius will save all our men! Get into position! Form a test dudo! Archers! Into position! I'm on the Scorpio! Hold your right! Infantry! On the move! We need support! Where's the Scorpio? 